Okay, what I feel is something that will turn on the horizontal axis like this. And when I connect the current as shown, a DC, uh, the current comes down into contact with the mercury there. Can you see that is mercury? That's mercury, which is uh, just touching, or the tip of the wheel is just touching the mercury. Okay. Now, there is an electromagnet here. Sometimes they use a permanent magnet, but in this case, they use an electromagnet. When current goes in from here, then this end will be north, the other end will be south. The other end will be south, the, uh, the, the end will be south, the other side. This is north. So what we're going to do now is we are going to pass current into this, what we call Barlow's wheel, invented by Barlow. Okay? And uh, if we place our left hand, left hand rule, the current comes in like this, right? Huh? Yeah, current comes in like this. And the magnetic field is this way. Can you see? The magnetic field is this way. This way. E. Alright. So you will find that at the tip at the tip of this uh, spike wheel will be forced to go to the right. Right? And let's see whether it goes to the right when we turn on the current. The contact is not as good as I want it to be. Uh, we may have to put a little bit more, more mercury. Don't worry, mercury is not poisonous. As I've always said, short of drinking it myself. Uh, all right, let's try that and see. This is Barlow's wheel. Huh? Okay? Barlow's wheel. My, my question now would be, uh, my question now would be, what if I were to reverse the current here? The flow of current. If I were to reverse this, which way will it go? Tina, guess which way will it go? Will it still go to the right? Will it go to the right? No. no. What do you think? Yes. yes. One of them must be wrong. Huh? <laughs> All right. Who say it will go to same way to the right? Let me see again. He says to the right. He says to the right. He says to the left. He says to the left. What do you say? What do you say? Huh? Same direction. Same direction is correct. Same direction is correct. This is because you change both the direction of the current as well as the magnetic field. That is an electromagnet. Is that clear?